What I'm so hyped for today. What I'm hyped for today is Supergirl Season 5 premiering first on the CW on the 6th of October 2019. I've been itching to make this video for a long time, but before we delve deep into what I'm looking forward to in Season 5, I first just want to talk a bit about season four. So here's the inevitable spoiler warning. Supergirl has always addressed serious topics, but several times in the first three seasons, I felt that the slight degree of cheesiness in the scripts prevented the show from meeting its full potential. In season four, however, I think they managed to strike the perfect balance tonally, and it became one of my favorite TV shows this past year. For me, a lot of that came down to its themes, its presentation of those themes, the respectfulness with which they approached serious current day issues, the fact that the subject matter was so complex that they didn't have room for distracting subplots which have plagued previous seasons, and most importantly from my perspective, complex, interesting, well fleshed out, and motivated villains. I love how they dedicated individual episodes to detailing how Lex Luthor and Red Daughter were established, and of course, Ben Lockwood's Agent Liberty. I found these three characters to be so much more interesting than previous villains. Die? I have bigger plans for you. Lex Luthor, played by John Cryer, the mastermind behind everything going on in the series a character who could pull the strings to suit any narrative or master plan he might have. Red Daughter, a fascinating representation of how heroes can be influenced by the narrative they are exposed to, yet at the end can still find the good. Ben Lockwood. Sam Woodward nailed this character, who went on such a journey and is by far my favourite villain from the first four seasons of Supergirl. I loved the fact that this was a human antagonist, one who when we first met could easily have been one of the good guys, but falls victim to tragedy and fear. When humans root out the invaders, we can be safe again. Agent Liberty was the product of previous seasons. He wasn't the invading force, he was the one who had been invaded, the one who saw the destruction and loss all around him and was pushed to the point when no alien could be viewed as good. He was a spellbinding representation of fear and xenophobia. And of course, I have to briefly touch on Manchester Black, who was the perfect character to push forward these themes from the first half of the season with a different perspective. But that was season 4. Truth overcame fear. Now it's time to look forward to season 5, and how excited I am to see how each main character's plotline continues. And now, I finally get to talk about Alex freaking Danvers, freaking played by Kylo Lee. Alex is such a badass. I was worried at the start of the season how she would fit into the role of director of the DEO but it was a wonderful example of a character spreading their wings and flying. Seeing her bounce off of April Parker Jones' Colonel Haley was fantastic. Mess with Alex at your own peril. And now, for season five, she's got a love interest. Hopefully Kelly Olsen wants kids. Also, I'm so glad that she remembers that Kara is Supergirl again. Those few episodes where she didn't were tough. Talking about tough, we're going to be losing Mechad Brooks' James Olsen this season. James has been a wonderful, resolute, and consistent character, and his loss will certainly be felt. It also makes me wonder if the CEO position at Catco is cursed. Just like Eve Tessmarker will be missing Lex this season. Andrea Brooks has been added to the main cast for this season. 
and I'm interested to see where they take her character. And uh, I also think that we all really know that Lex isn't really dead now, is he? <laughs> John Jones. David Harrowood's character had to go through a fair bit of development in season four. No longer director of the DEO, being entrusted with Martian history, John had to find himself again. Now that it seems he's fully embraced the identity of Martian Manhunter, it will be interesting to see how he deals with the fact that there's another Green Martian. Neonel is an important character. On one hand, it's important to empower the transgender community, but it's also important to show that Neonel is just a badass woman. And who doesn't love a dreamer? Brainy sure loves a dreamer. At the start of season four, I wasn't sure how to feel about Brainy essentially replacing Wynn. But now we love him! What I want to see from Brainy in Season 5 is a greater focus on the fact that he has a level 12 intellect. When Brainy was rebooted towards the end of Season 4, that was scary. Fun Brainy was gone. But love saved the day, so now he's back and all is right with the world again. But, if we're going to focus on his emotional intelligence, I want to see level 12 emotional intelligence. Okay, it's time to talk about Lena Luthor. Portrayed by Katie McGrath, Lena is a complex individual. At the end of season 4, Lex succeeded in essentially breaking her. The one thing holding her together, the trueness of her best friend Kara, was shattered. Your friends have been lying to you from the start. For her entire life, Lena has either been betrayed or lied to by the people she cared about. That isn't healthy. I have faith that we can mend Lena again. We've done it in the past, but she is a Luther. She's incredibly clever and driven. And it'll be interesting to see the lengths that she will go to now that she knows the truth about Kara. It will also be interesting to see how long it takes before she's able to trust Kara again. And I've been saving the best for last. Kara Danvers, a wonderful and inspirational Supergirl, played by the wonderful and inspirational Melissa Benoist. As alluded to earlier, season four didn't feature as many distractions as previous seasons, and that included a love interest for Kara. This isn't a slight at Monel, love you Chris Wood, but it was nice to focus on Kara as a character individually. We enter season 5 with Kara in a good place. Alex remembers that she's Supergirl, and the general public view her as a hero again. So we should get a load of Kara's trademark smile, which is always wonderful. This season, she's gonna have to deal with Leviathan. And I do love me a villainous shady organization operating behind the scenes. Lena's gonna be on the warpath, which could be quite destructive. And then we've got Martian stuff to deal with John, and of course the monitor is hanging around. But most importantly, pants, 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 pants. Kara's got a new suit this season, and it looks awesome. At first I wasn't convinced by the bangs, but they're growing on me. The production just received a Saturn Award, with season 4 being crowned Best Superhero TV Show, which I think is very much deserved. There's a lot to look forward to with season 5, we've got a bunch of active plot lines cooking, which will hopefully continue to maintain the tone which the show has had for the past while. And then there's the Crisis on Infinite Earths crossover, which will be HUGE! I'm so hyped for season 5 of Supergirl, and I can't wait for it to kick off on the 6th of October, 2019.